Hello. Hey, what's your Discord name again? What do you mean? Are you my friend? Hey guys, welcome back to the Byron Show. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and that is going on to our Instagram profiles of me and my friend Eric's uh, profiles and looking at our photography over like the past year. So we're going to like take a look at our oldest photos that we both thought from each other were like the best ones and then the, the newest photo that we think are the best and we're going to basically say why we think those photos were the best uh, at the time and then uh, yeah, just kind of critique each other on how we've improved over time. Right? Yeah, yes. Yes, indeed. That's, yeah. I made. I feel like I made it sound kind of complicated, but that's okay. It's fine. It's It'll explain itself as we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you start. I start. First Here I one. go. So the first picture of yours that I chose for the old one, because we're starting with old, so, right? Starting right. with old? Yeah. Okay. So the first one I chose was the picture of a pigeon that you got. Like, it, that's like sitting on the ledge. And the thing that I liked the most about it was probably the, uh, the way you captured the pigeon kind of like almost in the middle, but also off to the right. So it didn't look super like... I don't know, super basic, I guess, with lining everything up, and also well, the way. Well, that keep in mind, this whole photo is uh, like wider than that. It's just a. Uh, well, look, yeah, but the way it looks on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the way anybody's gonna see, it's gonna look like that. So. That's true. That's true. So that's why I mentioned that. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. But and then I also just like the way the sailboat's kind of like lined up with the uh, background blur, like the bokeh. I thought oh, yeah. it looked kind of cool. I like the way because it almost was like, almost was not not really like leading lines, but just something about it added more to it, other than it just being like a regular blue background. Kind of added more depth to it and made it look a lot better than just a picture of a blue sky and a vision. So I th thought for your old one that was pretty good. I like that one a lot. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I uh, I actually was really stoked on this picture back when I took it because I was like. Felt like it was the first photo that I really caught like good focus on uh, an animal. And I was like, yeah. oh man, finally. It felt like a nature photographer for a split second. Yeah, taking pictures of animals is cool. And especially if you get good focus, it's hard to do that. So yeah, it turned out good. Thanks. What's something you think I could have done better with that photo? Probably the colors the most because it's good, but I do feel like it's super like. Not, not like super, but like kind of basic colors. It's not like super like dramatic or anything. It's more, then again, this is more personal preference too, but I just, it's a very bright photo. And I feel like the colors could have been more dramatic and you could have done something to make the the bird look a bit darker or something like that other than just so sunny. Cause I mean, I'm not a huge fan of sunny looking photos. So I think if yeah. you would have darkened it up a bit and mess with the colors mainly, it could have looked a bit better, but. For the most part, it looks good, though, other than that. I feel like, yeah, that, that's something I wish I would have done, too, because I don't really like, like, super blue-skied photos like yeah. that. That's and, why the oh, sailboats no. came in nice, because it broke up from the blue sky. That's true, though, yeah. So let's move on to your first old oldie but a goodie. All righty. Uh, this photo is the one, like... Is, this is a photo from your past. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> and uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, I don't know. Did you even edit this photo? This yeah. one in New York? Oh, you did? Yeah. Like, did you yeah. edit it in Lightroom, though? No. I got you. Well, yeah, I, I like this one a lot because, I don't know, it looked like a lot of photos I've seen of New York, but it looked moodier and like i liked how it had like the fog in the sky and all the buildings just looked really cool in the background with like the the little guy like popping out super hard because like it's like the main part of focus and then how the 48th street and everything is like still really in focus but it's kind of like almost faded looking and it yeah. makes you feel kind of like you're in new york in the middle of like a like zombie apocalypse or something like it looks like there's nobody around right now and that yeah. makes it look pretty, like, 
sick. And then the flag in the corner, like with it like curled up, like showing that movement, like kind of adds like a whole nother dimension to the photo that makes it feel like you're really there. It's not like just like a, a clip or like a still image, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, I was, I was really happy with this photo. Yeah, I think it turned out really good. And the yellow isn't like too bright, and, like overbearing for like this kind of mood, I feel like. And it's also like the subject is placed like really good on the rule of thirds. So like it just looks, it just catches the eye perfectly because it's also like the brightest colored thing in the whole shot. Thanks, man. Yeah, I was, I was happy with it. Yeah, it looks good. I think the only thing like I would have done different with this one is I maybe would have went into Lightroom and brightened up the like exposure on like the little dude to where he's like really bright and really like popping. Yeah. But then again, you could almost go too far with that and it could look kind of fake. But yeah, that's the only that's thing true. I would probably do. Another than that, maybe like mess with the like sliders a little bit. But for the most part, it actually looks really good just the way it is. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I liked it. I don't know why I deleted it, but yeah. <laughs> All right. The other one that I chose <clears throat> um, of yours that I liked a lot was the. Uh, I think you said you were in, uh, yeah, Jacksonville. Yeah, it was in Jacksonville of the uh, bridge along with like all the city lights at night, like the long oh, yeah. type shot. I really like that one. Like, I don't know, that one I really, really like. Just the way all like every reflection of every single light just like had like a like a straight, like sharp line on the water looked really, really sick. I really did like that one a lot. And then like how blue the bridge is from the way the lights are and it's just, yeah, it's really cool looking. I like this one, like a ton. Thanks, um, man. If there was one thing that I would have liked to see you change was the way the actual sky is, like the dark part of the sky. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at it, like it looks like there's a lot of, well, obviously it's going to be, but there's like a lot of like light pollution in it. So yeah. it looks kind of faded a little bit. And if you could have like gone through, it would have taken a while, but like if you would have gone through and brushed it all, and then darkened it just a little bit to make it look yeah. like even darker and then the sky would separate so much more from their actual subjects and stuff yeah, that, that would, would make sick. it look even sick yeah it would look really really cool then but yeah. then again the downside with that is you lose a little bit of stars you got but that's true i don't even i can't even really tell i don't even see any stars barely there's a couple uh, in there but um yeah, no, yeah, I agree. When I look at this photo now, I think the same thing. I'm like, man, that light pollution coming off that building is, like, super blue and, like, super noticeable. And, yeah, down near the buildings, it would definitely make them, like, super, like, three-dimensional. Oh, yeah, but, but it's, like, it's not really anything you could have, like, helped taking the picture, though. That's just inevitable is light pollution. It sucks. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it still looks really good, though. I do like it a lot. Thanks. Yeah, this was another shot I was definitely, like, super stoked on when I got it. And when I, like, finally posted it, I was like, oh, man. I'm like, I got, like, a skyline. Or, like, not skyline. Like, I got, like, a city. Uh, what's that called? Like, a, ah! What's that? It's not a skyline. What is the word I'm looking for? Like, a city. Cityscape? Is that what it is? Cityscape? View? I don't know. Like, Something like yeah. that. Some I city don't know. line. I don't know. It's just like you know, buildings in a city. On, <laughs> like, lights yeah, on. Know. It looks pretty cool. Man. <laughs> I like it. it. Looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> and that was actually shot with my kit lens. So I think both of it, the ones you liked of mine, were both shot with my kit lens back then because I didn't have the other lens yet. Yeah, all the older ones actually were shot with my kit lens. Same thing for me. Every one that you chose that was older was kit lens. I got you. Yeah, this is the the other photo I liked from your earlier photos. Um, because I liked how the red looked like it's a good hue of red, I feel like, and the, the color popped really well. And then you had this uh, other light coming from somewhere. I don't know where, but it just, it's bright red and it, and it pops and it looks good. And then the background's nice and blurry, but still has a cool amount of stars in it. And then you got the vignette to really kind of focus in on the tower. But the letters on the tower and everything are really in focus, so it looks good. And I don't know, it's got like a low angle and a pretty wide, like, lens shot. So, like, it looks very, like, bulgy, like, like a, like you shot it 
for like a BMX video or something, but it looks cool. It makes it look like more dramatic, like the sky is like bending around it or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like the distortions, like yeah, helping yeah. make it greater looking or something. Yeah, for sure. I would have just taken it in Lightroom and like lowered the black so that the background didn't have like kind of like a grayish tint to it, just mm -hmm. like completely black. But yeah, then that, that might also make it not look as distorted because the edges being black like kind of makes it look more like a circle or like a sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, that would have been cool, but yeah. The, uh, yeah, the one where you took the picture of uh, church looking type, temple type thing. I don't well, know I did why. take that. That I was just, me. I really liked that one a lot. The way like the like three like, I don't know, like Hershey Kisses almost like at the bottom. The way well, they yeah. all lined up and like the middle one like lines up perfectly centered with the actual like circle design in the middle with the cross and everything and then like the two like weird looking like tower type things on the right. I know I sound retarded explaining this, but <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. So, but I do really like it. And I, this one, I like the blue with the gold. I feel like it's like an exception to the not liking the blue background. I like the blue to the gold because it just contrasts kind of nicely. Yeah. Um, but the only thing I would have changed is probably have gone through like and mess with the texture a bit more to almost give like all of the materials in this shot more depth and like more, well, texture because of the fact that like if you would have done that, it would have like popped out even more of like the different types of uh, materials that were used for the actual temple. It looks, looks cool though, but that's the only thing I would have changed about it. Otherwise Thank though, you. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool in my opinion. I preach. I think like, I don't know. I just don't like this photo in general. Mainly, I think it's mainly because I don't like blue sky photos. Um, yeah, yeah. That much anymore, but, uh, and I just, I don't know, I just, I don't like the subject matter. I don't really like find like a particular interest in it too much. I don't know. It, I do like the, the way the texture looks. It looks pretty good, and I do like the symmetry, like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, but you know what? Take what you take. I don't care. Hold on, though. I didn't realize this whole time I haven't had my mic plugged into my camera. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you actually being serious? No, yeah, I yeah, am, but it's okay because the camera has a built-in audio, like the mic. It'll just be like half the video's audio will sound like complete garbage. <laughs> Even though the funny thing is, I framed the like shot for this video to have the mic in it, so the mic's just gonna be in the shot for half the video. Oh. And they're gonna be like, "Why, man, this mic sucks. I ain't buying that thing. Oh that thing God. must be trash." <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! You really did that! Wow! Wow! Yeah, actually, I'm gonna stop recording and restart. All right. So yeah, this is the last photo that I chose from your past photos, and I think that this is probably my favorite one from all of them because I don't know. I just when I saw this one, it looked super professional. It looked like a lot of photos I've seen on NSB and Lead and stuff like that. Well, which is a Instagram uh, profile for Nissa Myrna Beach. But, uh, yeah, it just looked like something like I would see on like Nat Geo or like any sort of like nature Instagram profile. And I was like, dang, I look sick. And the, how close you were to it, like how much separation you got from the background looks super good, but it didn't have any grain in it. It looked really smooth and like the light looks really smooth, but it's also like just enough to highlight his hairs really well to make him look like kind of like he's glowing so it like makes him seem more even more like attention is drawn to him and then there's like the little speckles of light in the sand that look really cool from like the way the lighting is it's very like golden hour and it just i don't know it came out really good i think it looks very natural thanks man yeah i really really appreciate that yeah I, i'm not gonna lie though i got really really lucky with this shot like everything just lined up good and that's the main <laughs> reason why it looks good because i was on the beach early morning so it was golden hour and he was just sitting there next to the water and it, it, I'm, i was lucky to get this shot but yeah i mean i'm happy with what i got with the opportunity i was given 
Yeah. I definitely got lucky. <laughs> yeah, it looks sick though. We're going through our top three uh, like most liked newer photos that the other person has shot recently. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hold on That's what we're doing gotta... with our lives. Okay, okay, yeah, I have it lined up right then. Oh, right. yeah. No, but I will figure it out. Okay, it's fine. Uh, the first one that was newer that I really, really liked, and I don't know why you don't like it, but I really, really liked it was the, uh, the raccoon. Uh, oh. Specifically, the second picture of the pose. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's more cropped in, right? I don't have the first one to change. Yeah. It is more cropped in? Okay, yeah. I really, really like that one. Like, everything about it, in my opinion, I just like the way the colors were. I liked how, like, the background was, like, clearly, like, dark, but it almost, like, turned out blue the way you edited it, so it looked almost like, I don't know, kind of gave me, like, vibes of, like, as if this raccoon was, like, a like a werewolf type thing with like a blue moon behind it because the way the dark part of the picture actually looks kind of blue and then the way the greens pop out and then i even honestly like the blade of grass that goes in front of his face that you focus past i i don't know i just like that i thought it looked really cool and the way the tree is like super blurred out and like super distorted i really like the way the photo ended up looking well thank you i appreciate that um i i think that I do like this photo. I was proud of this photo. Definitely was stoked on it, but I still don't. It's not my favorite photo just because I, I don't like that blade of grass. I wish it wasn't there. <laughs> I wish it wasn't there. I don't there. know, dude. I, I think it looks cool. I think it just like makes it look more realistic in a way because you never really see yeah. like a picture perfect uh raccoons chilling in the woods like they're always in front of some bushes or something like that so that's true it just makes it look real and like you're not going to be able to just always time out to take a picture of a raccoon like sometimes you just got to take the shot and be happy with it. And oh yeah yeah for so sure it looks really good it's really good thanks man really I, good appreciate, I appreciate do you think there's anything i could have done better with it um yes what's uh, that you know like the like ferns next to him on the right yeah i would have lowered the exposure on him a little bit mm, i see what you're saying yeah because like there's a few parts of it that are like super overexposed not the whole thing but like a couple little like leaves are a little overexposed and um, that's true if you could have darkened those a bit and maybe would have made it like make it stand out less and make the raccoon pop a bit more because of the fact that that's so bright it makes your eye kind of want to go to that yeah i feel you so the photo of the bike i think for one of your newer photos i like this one a lot because it's a rainy day so that already just wins because i like rainy day photos and you could tell because the the tires look slick and wet and your chair looks wet there's water droplets on it and the background is cloudy and there's wet concrete everything just looks gloomy and then the bike is also like gray so it's like it has this gloomy like dark feel like vibe and with the black tires and like the silver chain kind of just like standing out where the focus is i don't know i think it looks sick because it just like makes it look like a you know like a badass machine because that's like bikes are just like a, a machine or like a tool and it looks cool well thanks man i appreciate that uh yeah, I like the way the bike looked, but the whole fact that it just looks like a suburban neighborhood is what I don't like. I like, guess so. I don't like the fact that you can just see a tree with a red truck and a car and stuff like that. It's just, to me, it doesn't fit like a BMX type of mood. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I, just, I feel like I would have loved it if this picture was taken like on a rainy day like it was here but taking like a skate park next to like a ledge or something like that with like a rusty fence in the background or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, just I think that's the only thing. Location. Yeah, I, didn't like. I, f I agree. I think that's like the one thing I would say that would have made it a little bit better is just a different location. But the bike, oh, yeah. like the angle and everything that it was shot at looks really good. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I was, I was decently happy with the angle. And like you said, the chain, I, like, I mainly tried to catch focus on the chain because I thought it looked cool. Yeah, I thought um, that looked pretty sick. But yeah, it's just 
the location didn't help me out much. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I mean, it was in my front yard, so I don't know what I was expecting much of. But <laughs> it turned out okay. Yeah, it's a good one. My my next favorite one was of uh, my new ones of my yeah, new yeah, photos. Uh, uh, yes. Trash. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Of your new photos. Yes. Um, I really mm. like the um one that you took with the fern that you like shot through like a tree i think it was right oh yeah yeah was that shot through a tree yeah it was it was like a burnt down tree yeah yeah that's what i love about it it looks really really cool because like what i really like about this shot is like everything around it looks dead like everything just looks burnt up and dead and there's like there's signs of life like of that one plant like the only green thing in the shot is literally just that burn and i think it looks really really cool and it like does a really good job at like drawing attention straight to the subject it does a really really good job at that but um i also like how you went with like the bluer moody vibe like almost like you try to make it look like a rainy day like a rainy sad day because of the fact that everything was like all burnt up looking but i just really like the way that green pops out it looks really really good Thanks, man. Um, um, what? But if if I if I was to change one thing, I think the only thing I would change would probably be the fact of going along more with it being the only green thing in the shot. If you do look closer, you can see a little bit of like green throughout the background of mm -hmm. a little bit of signs of like life. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could have like darkened those out and just made those look all black and then just like made the only green thing in the shot at the front, that would have been kind of cool too. But I feel you. I think it looks really, really cool. I feel you. I, I, that probably would look cool. That probably would make it look more dramatic that way. Yeah, I was really happy when I got this one too because I was just like, dang, this burnt tree looks sick. And then like that fern was pretty much one of like the only ferns in that area that was like that tall. So it looked like just like the only plant life for like a little ways. And yeah, so was cool. I was like, dang, maybe I could like frame this in this tree. Um, but yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Kind of looks like a forest to me, like, like, a, like a fantasy forest or something like a forest you would see like a big like orc walking through or something like that yeah exactly yeah it almost looks like a fairy tale type thing it's really cool yeah kind of gives me that kind of vibe all right so this is the other photo i liked of your new stuff this is of a truck nearby you that yeah. was wet one day it was actually when i told you to take a picture of something in the rain in an hour right it was that day yes yeah, yes yeah. and he did take a picture and the, one, this is one of them and uh, I, I like this one a lot, not just because I challenge you to get this picture, but also just because like, like I was telling you just a second ago, it gives me like a VHS kind of feel. For some weird reason, it just feels like, like a, a diner or something in the middle of nowhere that like a sketchy truck is parked at. And like inside, like uh, something sinister is gonna go on, like some VHS horror game or something like that, but or like a horror movie or something like that. Um, and I don't know, it just has like a good rainy, like old school vibe. It just looks good. The colors are super rustic, so it makes it feel older too. And like I don't know, there, there's really good focus on the grill of the truck, and like the background is a little bit pixely, but like it still looks. I think that kind of almost like draws to the look of it being like older feeling. And I kind of like the look of how like the window is fogged up and you can see like streams of water coming down from it and stuff. I don't know. It's just got good feels all around because I like rainy vibes and I like VHS type stuff. Yeah, I man, I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I mean, I like it. I do, but I just feel like I would have rather, I don't know. I don't I think uh, the only thing you could have done better is, like I said, maybe like uh, denoised it a little bit more in Lightroom and then like, um, I don't know, maybe caught focus a little bit better on that front like headlight because the first thing I notice when I do zoom in is like the front headlight words that are on the headlight aren't fully in focus, they're really close to focus. You don't have 
fertilizer. Yeah, if you look at it, there's like some little numbers or words. Oh, well, it is a focus. It's just that, like I said, when I read it, this, it got messed up somehow. Oh, really? Also, you're also looking at like a screenshot of it. So there is, it is in focus on that. Oh, because in the other one, the darker one, it didn't look at focus either, but I couldn't tell. That's because they're both screenshots. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, apparently that's more in focus in Eric's version. All right, well, my final photo, actually, um, that I thought of your newer stuff that was really good. This is probably close to one of my favorite photos of yours, I think. And again, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I really like it, though. Um, it's the uh, one of the green tree python where you kind of focus on it just as like his eye. Oh, yeah. I really, really like that one. I, um, I, yeah, I love this picture. I love how sharp focus you got on his eye. I love how orange his eye is, too. So, like, it's obvious that it's like a whole snake, but it's almost like the main focus and intention of the photo is his eye. And I really like that. It looks really sick. And then, like, the way, like, the, like, uh, golden pothos plant in front of him is, like, kind of covering him up, which is kind of cool because, like, you know, snakes aren't always, like, hardly ever out in the open, so, like, it makes it look more natural and real with, like, how a snake's environment would actually be. And I just, yeah, I really like it. I do think it's really cool. Oh, wait, you cut out right at the end there. I said I really like it. I just think it looks really cool. Oh, okay. Everything about it looks really cool. Um, cool. If there was one thing, though, that I would have changed, that I'm honestly surprised you didn't do, was with the background. Mm hmm. I, honestly, I think if you would have blacked it out, it would look pretty sick, too. Well, I did do that one time, actually, for this photo, too. I had two separate versions that I exported. One of them did have a blacked out background, and one of them just had it like this. And I posted the one without it because I actually ended up liking the one without it more because with it blacked out it almost made it look too fake feeling like it made it look like uh, it made it look very staged with the background being like kind of there it made it feel like this was more like taken in nature almost I felt like yeah that makes sense it would probably more, more look like an on display snake than like an actual yeah like, yeah okay I see what you mean yeah, that's, yeah. that's the only reason uh, I it in, but I know what you mean. It definitely yeah, would. I just feel like it would draw even more attention to its eye. Which that's like my favorite part about it. It's just, I think yeah. snake eyes look sick. So. It does look cool. That was really stoked, like super, super stoked on this photo because I was like so thrilled on how focused I got like that whole side of his face. Like it was like super in focus. Like uh, yeah. Instagram crushes all our photos into garbage but <laughs> yeah. like if i look at this in lightroom and like zoom like super deep into the pixels it's like they're still super in focus and his eyes like super in focus it's crazy now this i don't i don't know if this was my favorite of like your newer ones probably the truck was my favorite of your newer ones but i'd say uh this one's pretty good this is of your sister's cat you said right yeah it's yeah it's her cat what's its name Achilles. Achilles? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really like this shot just because it felt very realistic. Like, it felt very, like, at home. Like, when you look at this shot, it kind of just almost brings you, like, a calmness because it makes you feel like, oh, you know, just at home with the cats playing, like, or chilling with the cats at home. Because behind them, like, you can still tell that's a table. It's pretty, like, blurred out and as well as the chair or whatever on the right um but you can still tell like this is a house and that's like a carpet behind him and there's like a window or some light coming in and the window light coming on his face looks really like dramatic and good too because the other side of his face is like more dark so it kind of adds like a nice dimension to his face and then he's got like kind of a not a very happy look so it even makes it look more dramatic but his eyes like super focused and his nose is super in focus, and so all the like lines in his fur and everything look really good. And then the focus fades pretty quick, quick, pretty quick, god dang, into the background, because I'm pretty sure you shot this on your 1.4, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that looks really good too, because there's a lot of separation from his face, but it's like weird, because this photo looks separated, but at the same time, like 
doesn't feel that separated because I can still like tell what things are in the background, but it yeah, doesn't like overly feel like they're in fo- like that. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like they're overly identifiable. Like my oh, eye yeah. doesn't go straight to them. My like, eye goes straight to the cat, and then like afterwards, I'm like, oh, he's just in like a chill house. And I don't know, just the way the colors are, it's very like very chill editing. Like everything just feels very chill and the blacks are like brought up a little bit it looks like to where there's almost like a little bit of a haze on the photo and i like Mm -hmm. that because it almost feels like a picture in a book or something yeah i was i was pretty happy with this one actually i'm surprised i got it because like i actually shot this on like one over 30 seconds (laughs) because like (laughs) the area he was in was super dark and i did it handheld and i'm surprised it turned out as good as it did um but uh yeah no i was pretty happy with like you said my favorite part was just how like the depth of his face with the bright side and the dark side like yeah it almost looked like he had like a thought process going like whether to be good or evil i liked it a lot but yes i think those were good photos but yes what what do you think made you better over time like what what in, what made your photos get better um i think the main thing that helps a lot for me at least is watching a lot of videos like mainly Peter McKinnon obviously because like he has so many tips that really helps you understand different types of photography and all that and that, so that's the main thing I feel like helped me was literally just learning like leading lines and how to frame things and how to even really use my camera to its full potential and i haven't even gotten to that yet i mean like there's so many more things i could do but just learning like the fundamentals of photography more than i did before that helps like, the most getting a better lens and moving away from the kit lens is the thing that i feel like helped me being able to have more room with aperture is just huge when it comes to photography is having full control over what your camera can actually do no yeah i agree i think getting a new lens is definitely a good investment at some point you don't need it oh definitely but it definitely you don't but you do need it for some things like like yeah you do there you're being lied to if you believe that you don't need it at all because for some things you will need it like you can't go and do a nature photography shoot of lions in africa with a 50 millimeter it's not going to happen you know they're just not gonna get the photos that you see online so uh there's some things that you do need to spend money on unfortunately uh but we all know that that's just kind of like the doggy dog world right but what is the thing that helped you the most um i think the thing that helped me the most to progress was uh, definitely editing like i getting into lightroom and learning how to edit in lightroom and uh learning like different like colors I like and stuff like that definitely helped a lot and learning like how to like look at light more because like now I don't like just look at I don't know like the daylight on stuff I like really pay attention to the way it like hits stuff in the way like angles and shadows happen so that when I do get behind a camera I think about more like the way the photo is going to look in editing like I'm thinking about how I'm going to edit this photo before I even snap the photo um, mm-hmm. And it helps me kind of like compose for editing and that and then the editing process is smoother and it comes out better because I had that in plan. So I guess planning in general has just been like a huge help. And then, uh, of course, like you said, oh, yeah. watching like a lot, a lot of YouTube videos on just different people. Uh, Peter McKinnon, definitely one of them, but there's a lot of the photographers I've watched and just seen different aspects of like compositions or um different kinds of lenses to use or different kinds of gear or different kinds of uh tips or whatever um that is that's definitely helped a ton because you can definitely just learn off of youtube and i think this is avid proof of that as well like you don't need like you can go to photography school or whatever but you don't really need to because a lot of the information is already out there you just have to put yourself to like go and like you know obviously listen to it and then you can learn yeah. something from it uh 100 yeah i mean literally everything we've learned is from youtube yeah so. yeah we're youtube kids and now we post yeah. youtube vids i mean 
who knows how far we'll be in the next year or so. You know, we'll have to do this video again next year and see where we're we at do then. do one every year. Yeah. Every year. We'll do a yearly one. That's how we progressed over time in our Instagram photos. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we do uh, photography on the side of our real jobs and we're aspiring photographers. So if you do want to check out our stuff, that's his uh, new account. So there's not that many photos on there right now because he just made it, but he's putting more. So there'll be more stuff on there. But yeah, that was, that was cool to see how we've improved. And uh, you guys should do this with uh, your friends. See how you improve in anything. Tennis, I don't give a fuck. I hate tennis. So yeah, I hope you guys, enjoyed this uh show uh see you later peace out sour grout <laughs>